Well, now you will know I've gone completely mad. Um, here's a package uh, that's just arrived and um, I'm going to open it. So this is my usual sort of unboxing. But, uh, I was looking for remote control devices to work with a garden rail. And then I came across this offered at less than new price by somebody, I think it's called JLD Racing or something. I've used it before. It's one of these YouTube sellers who um, does aeroplanes and gliders and helicopters and things like that. Um, Chinese. A bit more expensive than you could buy it directly from China, but you're buying it from a guy in the UK. The service is excellent, and I'll put a, uh, his, a comment on about it. That's all it is. It's some sort of loco uh, and some sort of truck. But my hope is that it will run on 45mm track. I thought I saw something about it. And look, it is in fact brand new in the box. That's, that's interesting. I'm going to work out how best to open the box. Yes, I didn't want to tear the box in my haste to open it. So clearly absolutely brand new. I'll put the price on. It was uh, less than normal new price. The box hadn't even been opened. So I'm very pleased with that. Some track which I don't think I'm using. Uh, it looks about the right size. And the box. Inside of which is a loco. There. Wait for the camera to adjust to the sunshine. I'm sure it's adjusting very rapidly. And I'm sorry about the tripod. It isn't that much of a hill. And it sits nicely on the G-scale track. The main point is, for about the price I would have paid for a receiver, a motor control unit, and a RC control. Obviously, if I'd have bought them separately like that, it's like buying hi-fi separates, you get really good quality. I've been able to buy a whole loco uh, and, incidentally, a truck to go behind it. Well, we're now inside what I hope will be a fairly brief unboxing video. So, oh, before I turn it over, I should have pointed out, uh, clearly it's a Playmobil uh, train set, 2.4 gigahertz uh, remote control. Uh, that's important because the standard remote controls these days for high quality things is 2.4 gigahertz. They don't need crystals. And so what do we have in the box? Well, some track. And um, because it's a toy, uh, the products are designed to be really robust, to be thrown about, jumped on. And that's why Playmobil stuff lasts a long time. Uh, I think I said this is brand new. Uh, but it's all pl molded plastic, so you couldn't have any track feed of power feed through the rails uh, but if you're running battery operated things I would prefer that to the tin plate that came with the backman outfit. Uh, price of something like this uh, don't know if you can see that there but I'll read it uh, just about £90 including shipping and handling from Jadlam Racing models. I don't mind giving them a plug because I bought one or two bits and pieces from them uh, and I'm very happy with the service I've had from them and very happy indeed with the price. I'm very, um, anybody out there has got an old, old one of these 
I'd be willing to pay half new price for it, um, as long as it's in you know good good second hand working order with all the bits. Um, but for a new price, I think that's not bad. The main parts to it then are the truck, its drop side, so it uh, looks quite good like that, and then you make it up. Quite reasonably detailed, certainly in comparison to the Backman one, it's as good as the Backman uh, Thomas and other uh, larger scale garden scale trucks. It's a, but all plastic, plastic wheels, uh, plastic buffers, so there's no, uh, you can't see any metal components, I don't think there are any metal components at all on that. There's nothing to rust in the rain. The locomotive, quite heavy, which is reassuring, but again with plastic wheels and with traction tyres, and I'm just trying to work out if it possibly, well it's got two traction tyres with four wheel drive on there, uh, I may investigate that later. Good, solid, robust thing, and the detail, the level of detail on that is consistent with LGB of this style, Backman of this style. If I notice anything grossly different, I'll let you know. Separately applied um, clip-on representation of axle boxes and springs to put onto that. The remote control itself, no antenna to fit because it's a high frequency 2.4 gigahertz thing. A set of instructions and I think that's a roof for the loco and some checker plate transfers. Um, lids for the other separately applied details there and lids for the boxes and two Playmobil figures. So that's it, as I say quick unboxing uh, what I will do later I hope is get to the main point which is show it running um, because what I'm looking for is something that um, provides me with motive power uh, by remote control to test out the garden layout and that may fit the bill right I've had time to install batteries thing. So remember this is a toy bought so that I can uh, run something around the garden railway. So there's a little very discreet on off button. I have paired the remote control with the device. That's the local one. It's got directional lighting which is quite a nice little feature. What else has it got? Well, it's got sound. Turn the lights off. Sound the horn. Turn the sound off. Oh, lights off. Turn the sound off. No, you can't sound the horn. I'll have the lights. That's the horn. So then, there you have it. Uh, all in all, for ninety pounds delivered. Um, not bad considering what you would pay for. Well, it's hardly a sound loco. But it does have some relation to the motion. There we go. Thank you.